Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. It is the month of December 2017. And I want to say thank you to each and every person that has support and donate. Um, thank you very much. Um, um, please remember to listen to your Sun, Moon and Rising sign. And remember to listen to the general readings. I want to say thank you to all the Leas that has been supporting my channel. And all the old subscribers and the new subscribers. So this is going to be very positive. I'm going to give you your number and it's your vibrations before I start the reading because I have changed up the way I'm doing the readings. And um, I want to say thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'll be speaking to you in the month of December, but there is a lot of changes that is about to occur. This month of December, you have the energy vibration of uh, the hair. It's the general energies. The zodiac energies are going to be um, fire and hurt. So this is going to be very good for you, um, Leos. I said Virgos, but I'm sorry. And it's Leos. Okay, this is the Leo's energy vibration reading for the month of December. Let's look and see what we have here. Um, the first week is going to be an emotional week. Second week, fire, which is the second and third week. is going to be one of your best weeks. The four weeks, there are going to be changes coming in. Okay, you have the energy of the youth of energy. So a lot of you will be connecting with your inner child to find um, a new energy vibration is to bring out um, the youth within you but also um, to heal you as a person okay so this is good i'm working with the angels also we have a archangel raphael it's the month of december he is going to bring in healing and abundance for you so this is going to be wonderful so call upon archangel raphael if you have any financial situations and understand that he's going to be there for you you have the energy vibration of achievement for some people success is coming in achievement and some people have situations to do with their bosses supervising that sort of a thing or people in authority okay because i'm seeing the energy of government buildings in this reading new um, things are coming in whatever burdens whatever that you had whatever that was blocking you from receiving whatever you should receive it's now um, being healed and lifted up the clouds are here but you have a strong foundation in whatever situation that is happening your wishes and dreams are going to be fulfilled and that is the basis of your reading your wishes and dreams are going to be fulfilled you're going to have a very strong foundation some of you are going to be suffering in stillness but yet still you know it's a time for planning and preparation so you have nothing to worry about count your blessings because the unicorns are saying to you count your blessings no matter whatever is happening in your life count your blessings because as you say thank you for what you have um more will be entering in your life for a lot of you, um, there is a message that is on its way. A good message is on its way. Good news is on its way for a lot of you, Leo. So this is good. As you can see, there is an orb that is in your reading. So this is good. It's as if your angels and guides are saying yes. They're giving you the sign that yes, a good message is on its way. Good message is about to come in for you. So let's go further and look in your reading and um and see we have the number nine energy twice so um you are going to um, um play a significant role the number nine is the ending of something and something new is coming in the duality energies or here you have number nine energies the eye princess is here there's a lot of major arcana that is coming up in your general readings which the youth of energy is bringing up these wonderful energies you have judgment coming in but this judgment is good in the first week it's an emotional week but yet still the judgment that is coming up it's good news because a lot of you will be receiving good news um, that will be coming in okay 
I've changed up the reading so let's look at the cards and let's see what is coming out for you guys I hope you can see it okay this is the first week we're going to work from here go back it's four weeks in this month so this is a emotional week but it's a good emotional week because your wishes and dreams are going to be fulfilled and this is wonderful um, the energy of judgment that comes in is a calling to let you know that uh, new situations are going to be opening up for you. So let's say that you were looking for work, you were looking to start your business, you were looking um, to start a new study or whatever you were looking forward to, whatever you were wishing and dreaming the, from since your birthday, this these wishes and dreams are going to come out in the first week. So that is good news. Um, for a lot of you Leo's in this week in the second week you have a very strong foundation whatever is happening this is a powerful week for you guys it's a week of fire this strong foundation your angels and guides are helping you um, um, with this foundation because what is happening is that whatever is going on know that you have a very strong foundation know that you have stability in your life and whatever that is transpiring your angels and guides are going to be working with you because the energy of the eye princess comes in and when she comes in that means whatever that was blocking you because you can look at this card with a cloud and you see that the blockage this dark part of it and the sun is coming out but it, because it's as if the eye princess because you have powerful cards the eye princess comes in and she is going to heal whatever that was blocking you and bring back the light within you and within your life so whatever is going on in the second week you have a strong foundation um, don't be array for whatever um, chaos that is around you because you have a very strong foundation as we look at the second week another number nine energy but this is the energy of suffering silence so some of you in the week of Christmas is going to feel as if you're suffering within so it says you're trying to to, to make things happen things are not happening but they are happening in the spirit world so just continue because this, the the third week is going to be Christmas and you have the energy of the hermit and it this energy is saying go within go within because you have the energy of the eye princess and the hermit in the two middle week the second week and the third week this means that your spirit guides are working go to church some of you should go to church some of you are going to find out that this week that you go to church um, for it will help some people not all people not everyone should go to church but what you need to understand is that the covenant of the spiritual world and the light beams are coming in and they are going to help you so whether or not you have, you're going to church or you're not going to go to church it doesn't really matter but these beams of light are here and they are going to be helping you so the suffering that you're going through is going to be healed because the energy vibration of your inner wisdom and guidance which is your mighty I am present self is coming up in the third week to move you forward and to heal because the healing came in in the second week where the I princess is letting you know that you have no matter what is going on around you there is a strong foundation that you have and let the chaos goes because with chaos there comes a calm afterwards and you remove that which no longer serve you in the last and fourth week, we have the energy of uh, um, planning, um, patient and planning. So last week of December, you're going to have the energy vibration of being patient and plan your way out for the year 2018. So, uh, you know, you Leos are vibrating still in the year 2017. So plan your way out for your next um, birthday. Whatever the situation that has been happening, you need to, rele to release this burden that you're carrying because you have the 10. The 10 of Pentacles is good. This is the 10 of Pentacles. So whatever that has been going on, whatever that has transpired, uh, you will have the money to plan your way out there is a transformation that is coming in and this transformation is going to be good so let's say that your financial situation wasn't good you're going to realize that as you end this 
year, this general year of 2017, you are, by planning, your financial situation is going to come in and there is going to be a debt and transformation to whatever that has been blocking your financial situation. And you are going to see um, these things changing because here they are saying, count your blessings because money is coming in. Count your blessings. And good news is about um, to come in your life. And this is good. And with the good news that is uh, coming, because a message is coming and it's going to be about uh, a good message. Okay. So let's say that you realize that someone was being deceiving to you. Um, the good news is going to come out that, you know, these people have been caught and um, it's going to be dealt with and this is going to be wonderful. So this is actually good news for a lot of you people. First week is going to be one of your best, best week. Last week you had the energy of 10 of pentacles. So let's say that your financial situation was not that good because the major economies, they came in and this is actually good because the major economies come in. As you can see in this role, you had the energy of calling and the energy of the oracle, which is the eye princess, and then the energy of the hermit. The oracle beside the hermit, this is a, a deep healing of every aspect of your life, which is coming in on this in the second week and the third week. And then you have at the fourth week, the Ten of Pentacles. So this is extremely wonderful. So, you know, you started off the week, which is saying that your dreams and wishes are going to be fulfilled and you can see that they're about to fulfill. Okay, remember your numbers. It's the number nine. And number 999 is going to be your energy vibration. Okay, let's go forward and let's see what is coming in in your love life. So let's see what is coming in your love life. There's heartbreaks. Um, first week, second week, you, um, a lot of you are going to be connecting um, with someone, the people between the ages of 18 and 35 is going to be connecting with a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn person. Okay. And it's as if the universe has orchestrated this connection to happen and it's going to be happening. In the third week, you have the energy of the Ten of Cups, a happy situation. So whatever, whatever sufferings that you were feeling, you were going through, um, you go within the inner wisdom and you connected. And somehow an organization or a group of people or, you know, it could be something that was happening to you that you weren't able to to heal yourself is as if a group of people organization um, came in to um, release you. There's another energy of the number 10. So you have 9, 10, 99 and 11. Okay. So let's look further and see in the fourth week, the love life come with the um, queen of sword, the queen of sword, whatever this queen of sword was doing is coming to an end. And um, here you have the eight of swords. You're seeing clearly what has taken place. Okay. So in your, so for some people in your love life, you're going to see clarity to certain aspect that has been transpiring. So let's go back and look at the first week because I didn't really go in. Um, I never really went in, you know, um, deep in depth with a love reading. There's a lot of art breaks. Um, this is going to happen because a lot of you seems to have had multiple choices in relationship. And with these multiple choices in relationships, someone is going to break your heart because it's as if the universe is saying that, you know, um, you have so many choices in a relationship. Some of you were having two and three different relationship going at one time. So you had multiple choices and heartbreak is going to come in to one of these relationships and you need to let it go. There is a lesson what you need to learn from this. And the lesson is that you were not being honest with your partner or the other person. And this has to come to an end. Okay. You have multiple relationships. Um, as again, the second week, the last week, um, the second week is for the people between the ages of 18 and 40. If you're going to be meeting someone, 
maybe there was a blockage between you and this person maybe um, the energy was coming out and you're going to meet someone who is uh, um, a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn for it, uh, the third week is going to be wonderful and um, there is going to be a good love connection it's going to be positive for a lot of people who um, have good relationships um, it could be a marriage that is happening um, it is a week of Christmas so happiness and joy in the family there is going to be um, positive connection in the family happiness and joy in the family good connection in your um, love relationship the last week if you have a relationship with someone who is an Aquarius a, a Libra or a Gemini this is going to come to an end this is going to come to an end and the ending that this is going to come it's going to be coming with you're going to start seeing the truth of a person or a situation so let's say you had a relationship with it can be a man or a woman it depends on what energy vibration whether you're female or a male that you had with someone who is a a Aquarius a Libra or a Gemini this is going to come to an end this person hasn't been really truthful this person was only in it for money okay this person was only in the relationship for money this is going to come to an end because there is going to be an art break and this art break is going to come from this woman who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libran okay it's gonna cause a lot of conflicts um, so a lot of people be aware of what is happening in your life and in your relationship because it's going to cause a lot of conflicts at the end of the day um, whatever happened and whatever transpire you will receive a good message and this message is going to help you in whatever way in whatever situation um, and um, this message is going to help you because what ha what whatever happened is that there you were playing the the cards two ways. There was some people who were having two um, relationships, two people in a relationship. It can be three people. It is as if you were seeing two people or you were in love with two people one person is going to let you down one person is going to move on with their lives and this is what is going to be happening for you there's going to be a lot of conflicts at the end of the day count your blessings because um, you know things are here everything is not made in stones there are challenges in people's lives but on the other hand some people are going to be very happy with where they are in their relationships this is going to be good especially for the people who are connected with a Taurus Virgo and Capricorns you are going to be very connecting whatever the blocks were you are going to the blocks are going to be lifted but whatever you had to do with um, the air sign people it's going to come to an end with a huge uh, conflicts coming in we're gonna move on to the zodiac sign and let's look at the Sun moon and rising people and the moon people to see what is happening for you guys so as I call upon the angels and guide to show us what is happening um, what is about to happen for the Sun people is the people who were born between um, the um, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Let's see what is happening for the Sun Leos. You have the energy of the Pisces coming in. So some of you are going to be connecting with the Pisces people. And this is going to be good because they're going to teach you um, about love and about how to use your intuition. Let's see who else is coming out to help you guys and this is the cancers wow okay so you sun sign people are going to be connecting with the water sign people and this is actually much better for you because you sun you you know sun sign uh, um, you know you are um, a fire sign 
and fire and water goes good because it balances out each other so this is you know kind of good for you guys so you um sun sign leos are going to be dealing with the pisces and the cancers which is going to be very good because the cancers are going to show you aspect of yourself and the Pisces also. So this is going to be wonderful. I would expect that. Uh, but I know why the sun sign got the energy of uh, the water sign. So let's see what the moon sign is going to be receiving. You are going to work with the planet of Mercury. And the planet of Mercury it is going to teach you how you can manifest. So for the people who were born between the hours of six, 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Mercury is coming in to um, change you as a person and to change certain aspects of yourself as a person. So this is going to be the good. This is going to be wonderful for you guys. Let's see what else is coming up for, to work with you. You have the Aries. Uh, this is your sister sign, the Aries. This is good. This is wonderful. So the Aries is going to come in to help you with a situation. Um, that you have to deal with with the fire the, the air sign people who are the um aquarians um the gemini and the librans so um this fire sign which is your sister sign the aries are going to come in and help you whatever the conflict was they are going to come in and balance out the conflicts that was there and this is going to be extremely good okay so coming back to really 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 show you what is happening this is going to be a month of really changes it's a month of judgment it's a month of uh, news coming at you uh, it's a month of um, fulfillment of your dream coming true and uh, money is not going to be a problem but yet still you need to understand your relationships are not looking that good for the people who are connecting with the earth sign people the relationship aspect is going to be wonderful but if you are connecting with the energy of the hair sign people which is the aquarians the gemini and the Libras, it's not going to be that wonderful for you the sun sign people on the other hand are connecting with the water sign people which is good and the uh, moon sign people are going to be connecting with the planet of Mercury and the energy vibration of the hair. So this is going to be good because Mercury is going to help you to teach you how to manifest and how to connect and how to understand what is going on with you. So this is positive. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please remember to leave the messages. Um, each, each message that you leave will on the site will heal somebody else in another way because they it will help them to understand that they're not the only one on their journey so please listen to the general readings and please like share these videos thumbs up and i'll speak to you in the month of december um namaste